want to welcome y'all to a this not the intro. installment. Well, this we might as well just start the intro right here, motherfucker, because I started. No, because the guest is not an intro. I got an intro. Why can't he be here for the intro? Stop, stop trying new shit. Why are y'all arguing? Somebody figure out the goddamn intro before I figure it out. Go ahead, figure it out. That's so Rumble Media Kid! And we're here at the Blue Bay Report in VD with So One Professional Web Series. I'm just. No, I'm supposed to do something. See, so Rumble Media Kid inconsistency? <laughs> I'm just so tired of the competition of the rope of how we really versus the game. So we here uh, with one of the funniest motherfuckers in Philadelphia, man. He's funny. He's not the funniest. Yeah, I do. You dickhead. Go off on the store. <laughs> <laughs> I said one of them. Introduce yourself to the people, bro. Hi, every dickhead. I am Molly Cobain of the Cobain Report, and I bring you nothing but laughs and good vibes and good energy. Hey, yo. And yo, so we want to welcome you to the show, good brother. Hi. Yeah. I'm trying to f- Why the hell don't you have a shoe on? First of all, let him get comfortable. Don't do all that other shit. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Y'all confusing this shit. You confusing <laughs> the shit out of me. You took your shoe off and we was good. Then you start gyrating in the motherfucking chair. What I the ain't fuck you talking yet. I can get up and You want me to fucking jive? No, no, it's all me in here. <laughs> That's a rumble me dig kid. I can't even tell. I, you know what? I'm just going to shut up and just get, crouch Damn down, you. crouching and sit. There we go. Crouching tiger. Crouching tiger. Hitting my drag. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you got dragon arms. Yeah, because yeah, this is going to be five rounds. Oh, that yeah. was a block. Mm-hmm. I didn't have the block. I was just right here. Your hands. They're trying to wire this shit. That's what I'm saying. So, block. Maybe you can't get beat up if you block. Are we going to be able to stay on script today? Motherfucker. It's a script? Anyway, introduce yourself to the people. He already did. I did that seven right, times. So. Well, <laughs> there we go. So, <laughs> so, from the rip, man, how did this all start for Mr. Cobain? And we ain't talking about Kurt Cobain. Who? In, 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 in figurative speech talk, yeah. We're talking about Kobe, uh, Mr. Kurt Cobain himself. Okay. Rest in peace. That's mm-hmm. just, I, um, I took that moniker, so to speak. Because okay. we got a lot of um, a lot of qualities that we share, and he's different white. aspects that people probably don't even <laughs> wouldn't even understand. But he's white. Well, that's one of the aspects that I and just don't watch every day when I'm supposed to. And he's at rich. two, if I watch at two o'clock, me too. And he hit bad bitches. What? I'm a fucking rock star. What are you talking about? I got this shit tatted right here. I mean, he's ashy as fuck, but it's it's, it's there. He didn't rock star, and this was before comedy. <laughs> is so talk to us, man. What what made you start this run that you have? On Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> I had to look up there to keep from. Did you make that shit glorious? <laughs> I know. Well, it all started my dickhead training. Right? <laughs> stay anyway, on, my, stay on topic. My my my, <laughs> my 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 comedy journey really started. Um, from out the womb, from the gun bust. My mom, God rest her soul, mm-hmm. Mama Cobain, mm-hmm. she had a funny bone. Okay. I never realized it until I got a little older, mm-hmm. and she taught me some things that's what I'm doing today in society and it's totalitarianism, which is my favorite word. Did she call, did she call you a dickhead? Is that what it was? What? Dickhead was her favorite word. Dickhead, dickhead, <laughs> dickhead. Did you call me my dickhead today? It was all the various dickheads. <laughs> And I just, you know, conform to all of them. So that's why I am so I what, body dickhead. What the fuck like. is dickhead conformity? I want to know. Um, when you conform to be a dickhead, it's just like a dickhead that's all over the place. You know, like a dickhead, you be like, that's because he might have seen a bad bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you be like, oh shit, you know, shit, not right now, because we're in, we in the welfare office. Not right now. They can't mm-hmm. see you on Brickyon. Yeah. So, you know, my mom kind of like, you know, you're gonna be this type of dickhead, okay? Oh, you're gonna, so you're so gonna be speed and bullet dickhead. So she fostered your dickhead. She, she, she fostered and mothered my dickhead of nature. Solid. To make me the dickhead today that I am. So, tell us, man, like, what's the basis of all your jokes? I know you be all over the place, but at the end of the, at the end of it, because you know, like, comedians have like a certain satire or a certain lane in, like a Kevin Hart 
you know, he tried to stay stick close to home base with a lot of his jokes, make a lot of his jokes relatable. Right. You know, Dave Chappelle, his shit is. Oh the, God. The the, pol- the political. Man, that shit Chappelle gas. <laughs> what the fuck? He is, is that? the fucking goat. That's what he is. I'm sorry. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> um, you know, he tried to do the. He sticks close to the political. Right. You know. Um, and who else is the fuck? I don't even know who the fuck else is funny. What the fuck is wrong? Who? First of all, me. Um, okay. Shout out to everybody that's really, you know, taking their time out to do stand up mm-hmm. and do the craft. That it's a it's, that's a hard job to yeah. do. But um, my basis, for real, for real, is just reality and real. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it seems like social media, mm-hmm. right? And I respect it and what it does as far as build platforms and make people who are they, make people who they are. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, who the fuck is you making mm-hmm. <laughs> at the end of the day? Mm-hmm. You're making a bunch of fucking opinionated dickhead boys from the store. Mm-hmm. So before my mom, you know, left this earth, she said, I said, damn, mom, I don't really know my neck. I don't know what, like, I know what I'm doing. I'm making people laugh. Like, I know how yeah. to be silly all day. Yeah. Like, that's my shit. She was like, come on, it's not hard. I said, what, <laughs> what is it? She was like, Come on, come on. Tell the truth. Bad girls club. I was like. Cool. I didn't lie so much when I was a fucking young boy. Why not tell the truth? So I just said, you know what? When I pick my topics, I'm telling the truth. But when I tell the truth, it's gonna be in a in a way where you f- you feel it, mm-hmm. but you be like, oh okay. <laughs> like, I, I stop. Yeah, cause I'm like, I ain't trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm gonna let you the fuck know your shit stink too, mm-hmm. dick kid. And it probably stink worse cause you got more than what I got. Yeah. So you know, how you carry on Instagram is how you carry in life. So my comedy is based on life premises details. So what's uh, who's your comedic um, inspiration? Um, like what comedians do you look up to? I love Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. I love his stage presence. Yeah. Dave Chappelle got some type of command on the crowd that I ain't never seen before. If you dumb, it's gonna go over your head. And when I mean my dumb, not like dumb, like you don't know better or whatever, like you ain't trying to really listen to nothing but 59 and two minute situation. Mm-hmm. If you ain't trying to listen to a story be broke down about po- politics and white people and black people mm-hmm. meshed mm-hmm. and some in your face shit, you ain't gonna wanna hear it. So shout out to Dave Chappelle, like I always wanna be him. Now, Martin Lawrence is my favorite funny man. Cause he just like, it's just like, he does it all. I'm talking, when it comes to funny, like, that's how I feel like Martin. Like, I got characters. Mm-hmm. Um, I can talk at you. I can bid on you. Mm-hmm. I can get in a skit. I can act. I can know when to, like, it's just like certain angles and pitches that I know that's going to bring the funny out of certain things. And if it missed, it missed. It's just another episode that went wasted. So, it's like the no shoe thing on. Is that, like, a comedy thing, or you just really don't no, want to have Like. Everywhere I go in, I, man, I done been in clubs. Speaks all half worn down and all that shit. Just like this. Cause my foot hurt. I don't have time for that shit. Like, so let me ask you, my foot hurt right now. a serious question. Mm-hmm. Do you have foot fungus? Um, right here. Then I respect your hard work. Thank you. What that, size? I quit that upstate too. Cause what? Shout out, shout out to the fucking. They let you get foot penis. fungus upstate? Yeah, they let but me you get that shit. Take a shower with no shower shoes? No, I had shower shoes. So you caught a foot fungus in your shower shoes? I guess That's what? a rumble me dickhead. In a clean ass gel. Rumble me dickhead set <laughs> of summer. <laughs> Get the fuck out. All the way out there in blissful summer city PA. <laughs> and it smells good and the grass is clean and it looks like a college camp. It's a dickheadism. <laughs> <laughs> and totalitism, that's all. Because my new little totalitism has to go to the hospital every so often to get it. Whatever that shit is inside of you. So, you know, you gotta get it taken care of. Understood, understood. So, being a comedian, like, do you do you find yourself getting away with shit in real life that other people would? would it? I'm talking about some of the shit that fly out my mouth. I'm like, damn, that work? And this is some <laughs> regular life shit. I'm like, damn, I, damn, damn. Fuck it. Because people expect it. They expect ignorant, raw shit. They don't expect, like, everybody being friends and all that shit. So, so it's all friends. How could me and Gus be in one of your skits? What? Gus would be so like a professor. But he'd be drawing on me though. See, the way my skits go is this. 
if you look at the way Philadelphia go, mm -hmm. everybody's a star. <gasps> no the fuck you ain't. Come on down here to two <laughs> colleges of land where somebody got problems <laughs> and shit. We all got jobs and totalitism. Yeah, it's totalitism. The nigga said totalitism. Get your nut ass back <laughs> down here and figure out the real shit that's going on. Stop <laughs> living in La La Land. Anyway, um, motherfuckers is just so high and mighty. Like, who the fuck gonna be the, the one that's taking the bad shit? Who the fuck gonna be the one that's like, nah, I, I mean, a rat. I, I, I probably, that's one role I probably be like, yo, you wrong, bro. Like, <laughs> Or maybe not, depending on what the bag look like, because I'm just an actor, too, mm -hmm. at the end of the day. You got to know your roles, actor, and what you're pitching for. So you're looking to do movies and things what? like that, too? Comedy wasn't just the, that's the stepping yeah. stool. Mm -hmm. The billion dollar industry is acting. Okay. Every rapper, everybody transitions over to acting. Even if you was in somebody's office professor, you wouldn't be an actor, because mm -hmm. you get acting which you, you know, could be bored out of you. Mm -hmm. um, how y'all could be in my skits? My skits, like I said, is based on me taking the bad end of the stick. Mm -hmm. So he'll be grinding me the fuck up. Mm -hmm. People probably be like, he like a fucking nut. Yeah. People probably perceive you a certain way. I take my. Well, I gotta be the nut. I'm just that's telling just you, who you are. I am the ink. Oh, listen, let me take what Virgos is before I go all. Just because I got a button down on you. <laughs> <laughs> you just got hit with a seventy-four piece. You're yeah. paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot talk for two minutes. Okay. Virgos is the incubator. For everybody. You think about a Virgo that's that's talented. Let's talk about Beyonce. I'm still in the with you. <laughs> she ain't wanna do that shit. Somebody had to push her for that. So what I mean is this, by being an incubator of what y'all think. If a person, if there's a lot of people in one room, they might say he's like a nerd looking dickhead. So I'm gonna take their perception of what I think, because I think he might be a nerd looking dickhead. That's mm -hmm. my comedy mind. Mm -hmm. But he's a good dude. Mm -hmm. He's just standing there. Nah, dude. he ain't nerd looking dickhead. They ain't got nothing to do with his dickhead look. I'm just saying, the inside where he cries is a good guy. <laughs> I'm just guy mad there. to the fact that he gave me a, 70, a 74. <laughs> he got a good guy in there. Okay. But I take the perception of what people might think. I put him in like professor mm -hmm. or like a welfare office. So I'm like, they one. So is he getting welfare? No, I'm the one getting welfare. All right. I'm the one dickhead boy from the store. They're trying to get the one thing done for his family, but he probably think I'm trying to cut ends. Meanwhile, all these ratchet sketches and batches is just getting over on him and shit. And I'm sitting there like, ratchet so Romy Diggs, ratchet. she got an iPhone XR8. She can silver surf her way out this bitch. Me, I'm walking. Mm -hmm. That would be the funny end. Like, I, I, it, close the cat, boom. I'm just like, like, what? No. At the end of the skit, does he get punched? Um, no, I get punched. Okay. In totality. So but now let me talk for real for real. Mm -hmm. I get punched on some reality shit. Like, it's like, damn, every day that happens to a person. So if, I'm in, if I'm in your skit, though. You'll be like, I wanna, rock. You'll be, we'll redo rock. That's I want, it. I want to be in your skit. But as rock. All right, go ahead. He just wants to throw somebody <laughs> off a cliff. No, I want to be in your skit knocking out <laughs> What? Let's start with this shit. Going North again. <laughs> just throw the whole Josh Gordon away. <laughs> Throw his jersey away, throw his stats, <laughs> throw his the fact that he got drafted. I, I, I'm, I'm almost about to hate him, I, but I can't use that word only by his cleats. I <laughs> his cleats. Go ahead. Because <laughs> I'm ready for Josh. What the fuck do you mean five? And the totalitism. What the fuck do you mean five? He got a nick? This is my. On a suspension tip? This is my. They ain't rings, crazy. He ain't winning rings on any championship at a suspension. Go. Oh, this, oh. This, <laughs> This is my thing with Josh Gordon. You got a thing too. I'm not going to allow Josh Gordon to you to use mental health as an escape. You shouldn't allow Josh Gordon. In my Stephen A. You shouldn't allow Josh Gordon. You got to work on that Stephen A. Yeah, that's, that's not good, Stephen. Like Stephen no, ass. <laughs> <laughs> you still should be worried. Don't if you don't you go ahead and figure it out with Josh though. <laughs> I'm just you better figure Josh right to nah, He a little salty, he's a Patriots fan. I'm not gonna allow Josh Gordon to keep using this mental health shit as an excuse, man. Well, like, they said he got suspended, though, after he decided to Because my, my thing with Josh Gordon is, is this. Like, at what point, bro, do you start saying, I'm making enough money to take care of my family. I can wait till the off season. He got a nick under his belt. He like the Rashid Wiles in football, cuz that's over. <laughs> I don't even know how he got away with it that many, that many times in the, in, the, in, the, in the Roger Goodell era. That's how Rumble Me did. It is. With, 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 the, with the Lenny side. 
With the with the with the Lenny Jones. The athlete foot. With the, with the toe. With I the athlete know. foot. But he gonna be salty as shit when he like he finally get clean at like 33, 34. He ain't he getting gonna, clean, that's it. <laughs> it's over. He ain't cleaning. <laughs> that motherfucker wants some Josh dick. Gordon, I'm coming right for him. Like the shit that fucked me up with Josh yeah. Gordon is like, why, bro? Because like, he likes drugs. These motherfuckers keep giving you chances. Like, white people don't give black people this many chances. Not in the NFL. Not he, in the world. My, Michael Vick. He really likes drugs. He's a crackhead. I'm thinking it's got to be bigger than, it's got to be more than Lane. He's a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Just go and got stop. <laughs> Five times, bro. You trying to say, that's not weed, huh? Crack. <laughs> weed ain't doing your, your it's career. It's crack. I'm telling you, it's crack. Josh is just on some goofy shit, man. And, crack. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Josh Gordon. Right, Whatever crack. it is, when you pick it up, do you be like. You only had two good seasons. Let me say something, though. But, but do you be like, do you be like, look, I can make a million dollars or I can smoke this. You only had two <laughs> Jones. He said, damn, I took that first 400,000 and me and Chappelle, his character, we had a whole party. Crap. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. Weed Crap. and lean don't make it. Weed and lean don't equal a million dollars. Weed oh. and lean? Yeah. That's what it is? Yeah. That's what they try to say. He say he I hear weed and lean, I heard. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I, I didn't hear nothing else. All right. I think I heard. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> See you, yeah. crack. So the consensus is crack. Crack. That's with the crack. When you say Josh Gordon, you gotta say crack. crack. Let's try it. Crack. crack. No, no, no. Somebody say Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon. Crack. Josh. Crack. J. <laughs> crack. <laughs> you fucked it up for all the G's. Yeah, if your name start with a J. And I'm fucked up. Crack. crack. See? That's a, that's a old crack here. Right. <laughs> so Josh Gordon is the crack. dickhead bull from the store. He's the dickhead yeah. bull from the crackhead store. That's <laughs> crack. I ain't giving Josh Gordon passes. Fuck Josh Gordon. Hey, if you choose crack over like, billions of dollars. Like that damn, yo, crack. we fucked up. <laughs> we fucked up as a people when we choosing crack ass over football. Oh my god. <laughs> ain't we lucky we got him? <laughs> Josh, stop. Right. Just get your life together, bro. Please, I love you, man. Please, man. Get healthy. Look, you had one good year, bro. Nah, but real talk, it's Josh, go ahead and get, your, get your life together, man, and stop wasting people's time. Take me back, Cardi. That's your homie, Offset. Offset? Woo, 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 woo. Crack. This Bart still I see he fucked up. Whatever I gotta do to show you, bro. Hey, you said this guy's gonna drop the situation. I, I, I feel you. I feel you, bro. She like, nigga, why are you at my show? <laughs> why is she? Why ain't you going, bro? Bruh? And that nigga walked off the stage sad. <laughs> First of all, what did he have on? He had on probably like a $2,000 outfit. It was. So give, fucking what? No, the jacket was 2000 I don't give a fuck. You can wear a $2,000 outfit, but if it's corny as shit, it's corny as shit. No, he's... he's he was out there looking like Storm I Shadow. Didn't, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> he was looking like Static Shock. <laughs> Chung chung. Listen, he called it bruh. <laughs> he called it the, the, the noise on like Vine. Bruh. Like he called it that. <laughs> he said, damn, Cardi, bruh. I'm gonna try that shit. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Get, I'm gonna get a female, man. I'm like, I'm sorry, bruh. <laughs> Take me back, bruh. <laughs> you wanna hit that after that? Mm -hmm. I ain't hitting no. That was something. See that? No, you can't block that was yeah. something. Like, that's <laughs> you ain't hitting nothing called bruh. <laughs> I ain't doing you can't that. call your chick, bro. But no, I'm not laying next to you if you, if you, if you name bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, imagine you ain't shit? smooth if you name bro. Did you imagine this shit? You wake up in the morning like, yo, let me get some of them. Come, come mop pussy, me, bro. Bro, <laughs> from the back. That's so. I'm gonna be dead. No, you, know, you know what? You wake up in the morning like, yo, bro, I'm about to go to work. 
Let me get a chewy real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up real quick. That's a draw. But listen, I don't know where to get that. First of all, this shit just all seems staged. It does. Like, how's she performing? And then it's like all this shit in the back. Oh, stop calling me. I'm gonna be dick. That's bro. It's a Yo, bro. Yo, bro. You got dark, dark stout fingers. You got dark stout stale fingers. I don't even want to buy them, Jones, Poppy. First of all, this shit. You looking at a You just took a call. You are, look, you are looking at a man's hands. Your hands, like little shit. Old, old. And fast. <laughs> you got a little fast hand. Little hand. <laughs> nah, but offset was bad. I picked up the phone. I'm sorry, offset. You know, yeah. I mean, I guess, I mean if, that, if that's your wife, you can do stuff, nut shit like that. You gonna go home and call Mrs. Phone? Gus, bruh? Like, no, yo, I would just apologize. Yo, you me. cooking tonight, bruh. I'm just gonna pick up the phone situation. Now, all that shit be letting you pick up the phone and talk and call to Cardi B, bruh. All this shit should be just disconnected, especially Offset. What the fuck is that? That's not even creative. Nah. Offset. But that lets you know what she look like when she take all that makeup off. That's Bad. If your man look you dead in your face, and like, be like, bruh. bruh. I'm so <laughs> Spanish, like, bruh. I could have called my wife, bruh, because I can't look at her in the face. She's Spanish, like, bruh, too. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> I don't know how they wild. I don't know how they go about. I was just asking. So in like ten years, you gonna be poppy. Like, you ever just ride through like Papa. the Spanish neighborhoods and be like, damn, how these Spanish bitches get all this ass? Goya beans. Solid. I've seen it. Solid. They put every goya beans going everything. You don't even know you got goya beans in your, in, your, in your mashed potatoes, in your salads. I'm talking about the regular salads. I just be wondering like, where the fuck all these motherfucking. Sp- Come from. <laughs> what was that? So we like to thank my man, Mr. Co. What the, what the <laughs> fuck? This is my dickhead hat. Uh, yeah, I'm Sherlock dickhead. I'm sorry. I think he be sprinkling a little something in his way. Yeah, he on that Josh Crack. Crack. <laughs> 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 This is really nah, some crack on the situation. But, but nah, real shit, man. I appreciate you coming through, nah, bro. Man, all day long. Tell man. the people where they can find your social media handles and everything you, you got. You find me on Instagram, Dubs. Oh my God. Oh, you got to sit down, dickhead. Oh, I thought that was a part of the show. That's all, you on that all um, <laughs> shit. Sit down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now it's going to cut your head off and shit, man. Okay, so I have to sit studious. You can find me on all platforms. That's your head. Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter. Is there anything else on like Tumblr? Cause I'm about, to make, I'm about to make everything. So you can find me on all platforms and um, visit your local websites to find all back applications if you want to find your local weed man. What the fuck is your name on the social? Marley Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> Marley underscore Cobain. There we go. S M A L O Y C O B. I don't know why. That's it. Thanks for coming through, bro. All man. day, every day. safe, man. Yeah. Appreciate that's, you. I took my last part. I was like, damn, it's away, but I can't even. Yeah, go for it. Bow head. Small hands. That's, that's all I need. Yeah, yeah. So we want to thank everybody for coming out and uh, staying tuned to the So Unprofessional Show. I'd like to thank Marlon Cobain for coming through, being a special guest today. Yo, we really let that nigga sit here with, with no shoe on. Who, Marlon Cobain? Yeah. I mean, he was out of my arm reach, so I couldn't really, like, crack him. Later on, I'm gonna hit you with this. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, I think it was a good segment today, man, and uh, y'all be safe. You know, I hate the timestamp shows, but this is right before the Christmas holiday for all the people that celebrate, you know what I mean? So just wanna wish y'all happy holidays, happy new year to everybody. More content to come in 2019. Peace. Peace.